Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about print surfaces, particularly PEI print surfaces. Now, one of the big questions I've been getting a lot lately is about printing on glass, etc. So, what I'm going to share here might be a little bit controversial, but uh, hey, it's worked for me, so I'm going to share it with you guys. So, I have switched over to all PEI, period. So the only thing that doesn't have PEI on it yet is my Monoprice Mini, and that's just because I haven't gotten around to it. I've got uh, a bill tax sheet on there that's working for right now, but as soon as I get time, it's going to PEI too. So I've, as you see here, I've got my tarantula. I've got PEI on it over here. The Wanhao, I've had PEI on it for ages, and I'll put some pictures up here, probably over here. Of both of my Da Vinci's, I've got PEI on both of the Da Vinci's. Um, I've printed a whole host of materials on the uh, PEI platform: ABS, PLA, HIPS, PEG, you name it. I've printed it on here. The only thing I probably would not print on here is nylon, and I'm going to do up. Um, I've got the Da Vinci set. Uh, no, sorry, not the Da Vinci. The Wanhao over here. Uh, going to do nylon. So I've gotten a separate um, fennel board for uh, nylon and it, as you see over here the Wanhao has uh, the paper clips, big paper clips holding it down. All the rest I've done with the 3M tape um, this here and I'll put links to all this below if you're interested. I don't use the glue sticks, haven't used the glue sticks in about a year. I don't use any of the ABS slurry anymore. I don't mess with any of that. I've had huge success with the PEI bet. So, um, you know, if you're interested, I can't, I can't recommend this anymore. I forget who originally recommended it. A viewer recommended this to me uh, eons ago. And this is one of the best things that's ever happened to me is, is P, 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 E, I. I'll spit it out here. I've said it so many times. I'm having a hard time saying it. Now, you can kind of argue that maybe glass, putting it over glass, putting it over glass, I'll spit it out correctly here, uh, you know, might be a good thing to level it out, uh, and that could be. On both of my Da Vinci's, I have it over top of the glass. I have this uh, adhesive on the glass, and then I have the PEI on the glass, uh, and that works okay. Uh, these are right on top of the beds. They work fine, too. I haven't had a problem. Um, so, you know, kind of, uh, you know, 50-50, but I see no issue putting it directly on here. I'm getting great prints, have been great getting great prints out of these four machines now, uh, running P PEI for roughly a year or so. Anyways, just wanted to do this video because I'm getting a lot of questions on print surfaces and glass and glue, and I got to tell you guys, you know, so I started with the glass and glue, and man, that, that was like crude. That was like, you know, surgery before anesthetic, if you ask me. This stuff, this, this is slick. You know, uh, what happens is, you know, when it warms up, it, it, it changes its surface tension of the plastic and grips it. You know, it cools down, it releases. Now, one of the things you probably, you, well, it does, will work with a cold bed. I have used it with a cold bed. It does work better with a warm bed. So with, with uh, PLA, I go to about 60, and then I take it up to about 90 to 100 for ABS. And, and hips, I've gone as high as 110 with it. So, and you know, it's been fine. Um, you know, I don't know about noxious, noxious fumes at that temperature. Maybe somebody will write and tell me I'm crazy and I'm going to asphyxiate myself. I've ran it at 110 and haven't noticed the problem. But hey, that's me. So my wife says I can't smell anything, so maybe she's right. So again, I just want to throw that out there. But uh, uh, when it cools down, what happens is it releases the part, basically. And so you don't have all this prying and stuff. And again, I can't say enough good things about PEI. So it probably will handle a good 90% or better of all your printing needs. So, And if you get outside of that, it's probably something a little bit more exotic like nylon, which I'm going to do a series here on in the future. Um, so anyways, uh, just want to do this. If you found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button coming up. Uh, swag shop up there, and we'll see you next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.